Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Decisive Campaigns Barbarossa with me like Cucumber. Okay, so last time we had the Romanian disaster happen. Uh, can these guys still move? They can! Oh my goodness! And they can still knock the crap out of this cavalry unit. Or how, are, how strong are they? Well, they're not exactly a threat. Can you guys still attack? I'm gonna move this unit. Screw that. We're going to move across the bridge here with infantry. We need to get to Odessa as quickly as we can. What about these guys? Can they still do their thing? No, probably not. Nope, nope, nope. They've definitely done everything they could. Alright, so this is a bit of a mess. Um, if I'm honest, this is a weak spot if there ever was one. If the Soviets counterattack here, we're in deep, deep shit. But we'll have to wait and see. This is also a bit of a mess, but we'll get out of it, I'm sure. We'll just try and get rid of this unit, which we eventually will. And then we'll maneuver ourselves down towards Zittermere and close that flank here. Around these swamps, I do not intend to go into these swamplands. It is bad. We do not want that. Anyway, in this video, we're going to do two things. We are going to do the finish moves. Finish him. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> Funny. No. Um, and we're going to um, and we're going to do the uh, the whole deal with um, with decisions because we need to make decisions. All right. So I think what we're gonna try and do is cut off this unit if we can by attacking the seventy first infantry division. We'll use these guys and these guys. Let's get them to retreat at least. There we are. Nice. Finishing touch. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep making that joke. I'm sorry. Um, I guess we'll keep him there for now. And also, can we? What's this? Is that the group unit move? No, we don't want that. Can we move you towards the edge here? We've mobilized that unit. There's an actual German unit here. What the hell? Okay. Nice. These are Germans. They will move across the border if they have to. So that's the German units seen in the newsreel footage I showed you guys earlier. What's how many troops are there? Just these. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we don't have the manpower to actually knock them out. These guys are well entrenched. Oh crap, man. Yeah, these guys are gonna stay there as a buffer. That's the 23rd Army. Their experience and readiness, though, aren't as great as they could be. So, and then there's these units that are of unknown quality right now. There's been some units that have been weakened by us. They're not great units. We can only push on them, apparently. Well, I guess we should then. Let's get all of our reserves in. We're gonna need them. Alright. Plus 50. Plus 50 attack on these. Wow, that could really damage them. So let's see if we can do a combined arms attack, which is generally what you want. Ooh, we got several units retreating. In, uh, well, disarray, I guess. And now we're out of action points with all of them. So that's that with regards to the Finnish troops. Too bad. Can we maneuver around here? Hold on. Maybe we can still move some of these units out here. We are well entrenched here. How many units are here? So there's the that one. That's 200 men. That's like nothing. We might actually be able to crush these guys. We have 20, 30,000 30, men here. That's nice. Let's take it. Let's take that shot. We I mean, may not entrench them, but you know. Who knows what we might get if we do this. Honestly, we need it. And that's where they went. There's still 200 men. <laughs> Well, not for much longer. Attack. All attack. Panicked, panicked. Okay, we panicked them. 
So that unit is actually gone, I think. Or no, well, no, it's not gone, but it's not willing to fight any longer. Anyone else? Ooh, we can actually assault that position. And um, how well are you doing? Corellian Army Headquarters, 5th Infantry Division. Unit info. I'm gonna say they're okay against relatively bad troops. Unit troops, I need to see. 9,600 men, to, no, that's 19,000 men versus 9,000 men. That is a bad plan. We're not doing that. That's a very bad plan. But we will, at some point, knock out this unit and then go around and uh, take care of that headquarters units as was intended in this particular part of the game so good this is this is this is going relatively well all right now we're going to do uh, some of the decision card things uh, army group south is struggling so Let's see if we have something that we can do. Any decisions we need to do? Where are you? I always forget where they are. Oh, here we are. So, Army Troop Center. Capture trucks for Army Group South. Make decision. We'll leave them half the trucks. There we go. Good. Army Group South gets 16. Wagner is unimpressed. Grunstedt is pleased. Excellent. Synthetic oil production. Now that's one I would like to do. Petition for an accelerated si timeline. Full scale expansion. 50% chance of a good outcome. Okay. Kohle Verflüssigung, the synthetic fuel, f fuel industry, is slowly ramping up production in the Fatherland. AG Farben are planning a new plant complex that promises 20% overall increase in synthetic fuel production. It may be, um, impo uh, may be possible to fast track construction of this new plant in the Central Planning Committee if, uh, if they approve. Petition for an accelerated timeline. What's the difference? How many political points do I still have? 33. I'm gonna do this. Okay, given the shortest of steel and demands are already placed upon the existing stockpile, expansion is nothing but a forlorn hope. Uh, okay, what did we roll then? 71? Alright, well, how did that influence our relationships? Mm, okay. I'm gonna say okay. Luftwaffe oil allocation. We have been running field tests with the 10th Panzer Division operating with high octane fuel sourced from the synthetic oil hydrogenation plant in Schölven. Results are very encouraging. <sighs> high octane, eh? Doesn't that burn well? I mean, well, anyway. It would be worth considering a request for the Wehrmacht allocation of some of this gasoline. Inquiries have revealed that it's currently allocated lock, stock and barrel to the Luftwaffe. As the Soviet Air Force appears to be spent, there may be scope for sharing. I totally agree with that, actually. Quest enough for two Panzergruppe. Fast moving pins, as is what we want. That's 12 points, though. Yeah, we're gonna take this decision. Fuck you, Goering. <laughs> He's unimpressed. He's neutral. Uh, but we have now a high ac octane fuel action cards, which is really nice. To the heck with the Luftwaffe. Our panzers need the fuel, they should have it. Exactly. And then we have one more option here. We have the option of uh, relocating the Armed Group Center Format Supply Base to Brest Litovsk. Yes, we're doing that. And that is actually a really good idea. Okay. Brest Litovs is an option. Vilnius is an option. Ballystock is an option. Ballystock is actually not a 
terrible plan. Vilnius is a terrible plan, I feel. But Bailey stock. No, Bresley Tosk. We're going with Bresley Tosk. There we go. Yes, Herr Feldmarsch, I, Charles, I have issued the appropriate orders. Great. So we're going to relocate that. We did all of our decisions. Wonderful news. I wonder how much I can do to get von Braukic to love me more. <laughs> I don't know, man. He wants to see this. He wants to see uh, results, and the results are pending. Many results are pending. We are almost there, man. With many of our, many of our, our things. I mean, Brest Litovsk is like it's like right here, man. It's like in the middle of shit, and it's right on the way to Minsk too. So we're gonna be awesomely well stuck. I should have. Fill news, damn it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, a card. We still need to play a card, I feel. Mm, posture is fine. Luftwaffe is just great. Fuel AGN. No, we're gonna mess with fuel right now. Artillery. Artillery 18th Army Headquarters is currently receiving direct fire support. Play a card if you wish to relocate theater based assets. 18th Army, really. Um. What's this? Counter battery supports to an army concentrated by a division. Okay, counter battery. That really depends how much we can expect here. I guess quite a bit actually. These units might actually start firing their howitzers at us and then we are in a bit more trouble, especially over here. Um, so I think the, is that the first Panzergruppe? Yeah, the first Panzergruppe needs that counter battery artillery. I'm thinking. Cannot play card, really. Why the heck would I not be able to play that card? Okay, we won't play that card apparently. Oh yeah, we were refitting that unit. So pretty much already done that. Um, let's see. Okay, focus. Hold on. Focus staff and command resources to an army or panzer group, but only if we have relations plus VE. So I guess I'll go for army group nurse. Play that card? Can we? Select a unit to play that card on. Well, I'm thinking. Ah, the 18th Army. We'll need that. As they are going to be our prime spear into the side of this thing. Von Leib has agreed to General Oberst von Küchler increased operational freedom. The 18th Army Headquarters will be located specialist brigade assets and theater staff will assist with planning and coordination to enable enhanced tactical flexibility. Okay, so we will have officer action cards available next turn. Great, that will help. And uh, we need to the play the high octane card here. I guess we'll give that to second panzer because they're almost at Minsk. I mean, they could totally flank these fuckers and just run into Minsk with everything they have and then cut these guys. Right? I think that's a good idea. We'll do that. Where are you? We'll be stood in. Yep, there we go. Boom. Did we not do it? Did we not do it? Play card. Oh, we played both of them on the... <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, that was a bit of a mess, but alright. Nope. 
It's good. We're fine. Okay, we've got to focus on the army group north. And we still have one more. We could go for a focus army group south as well. I guess we should. Play that card. And we will focus that on the 11th army. There we are. They will have more freedom to do what they need to do. And then we're out of political points. And my guess is... Um, let's get rid of the guards. The Soviets will react. So let's see what the Soviets will do. And then we'll save the game and call it an episode. And I might actually suffer an episode if this goes all the way downhill. But we'll see. But we'll see. Right? Soviet Union. Is doing their thingy. It's calculating. Thinking, calculating, thinking, calculating. Here we go. Oh yeah, they've got a big pile of crap down there. They're gonna try and block us off in the south, that's clear. And Minsk is being reinforced. And Odessa's being reinforced. I wanted to prevent that, but we're not gonna prevent it, it looks like. They didn't attack us. Okay, in Army Group Center, the northern wing of Hoth's third panzer group has reached the Dvina Driza, where it's encountering stiffer enemy resistance. Road conditions are difficult, high tank casualties from bad roads. Hoth reports 50% combat strength. Oh, really? Okay, Army Group Center, you need to decide who has command focus, right? Uh, Army Group North, the 18th Army Headquarters, AGS 11th Army Headquarters... Has command focus, I believe. Yes, it does. So that's nice. You need to assign the theater artillery support cards. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Mm, a Luftwaffe tactical air support in all three theaters for the card. Eight divisions have deployed. Three divisions failed to deploy. Wow, we got extra divisions. Three divisions pending, uh, pending deployment. Three divisions pending withdrawal. And seven decisions outstanding requiring my attention. Arme Gruppe South is not doing well. They have 73% operational. These guys are all at the 80% operational. But that's the thing here. We got the hit on uh, one of those. Alright. Apart from that, we are relatively okay. Relatively okay. Let's look at our situation here. Yeah, these guys have completely run out. They're sort of... There's their resting. I just hope we can reach Duneburg. Or at least... Cut these units off. Like so. Gobble them up like this. The 11th army. It's about time we should. So... And these guys definitely have those decision guards, so that's good. That's something we have that's not gonna... They're not gonna take that from us, if you will. <laughs> so, good news. That's good news. Yeah. Anyway. Minsk, well fortified here. And these units... And yeah, they're not gonna do well once we push in. Finish them off. I guess we'll do that with the uh, 9th Army under Strauss. It's only infantry. And I move the red units like uh, along here towards Minsk. And that's exactly the same thing we're going to do with the 2nd Panzer Group. Uh, they're going to move on this flank. Or, yeah. Yeah, probably this flank. Push in. Destroy whatever is left of these front units. And then get a big stacks. Alright, so. And then we have Army Group South. Apparently we have issues with trains here, or is these is this been fixed? Oh yeah, we're moving the um, we're moving the supply dump here. That is true. I remember now. All right, count us also. Good, we're fine. Great job. And in the south, stiff resistance indeed. They actually fell back here. Look at that. They tried to. They're trying to keep this down. And they want to prevent us from linking up there, I think. 
But maybe we can send um, the 17th army, which are fairly far behind, down this side. And try and, and outflank them. And uh, secure them with the Slovaks. That might actually not be a bad plan. Uh, and take care of this mess here with whatever is left. And then move 1st Panzer towards Kiev. Supported by the 6th Army. Meanwhile... It looks like this is going to be an interesting fight. <laughs> They've actually tried to reinforce Odessa. What I want to do is cut them off with these infantry units. Make sure they're in a pocket. And then get these units to slam into their sides. And uh, finish them off. Hopefully that will work with the 11th army in tow. With a little luck I think we should be fine. We have two fresh units still. So I think we're okay there. So that's the plan for next time, guys. Um, this, though. Pff, what a mess. Kiev is a ways away. It's going to take a while for us to get there. For sure. I'm not so worried about uh, this situation. Minsk, Minsk is already under assault, to be honest. And once these guys have rested, we will move them around and grab Minsk if it's still necessary. Duneborg. Duneborg will fall. We'll make sure the 16th Army gets moves up this line here and uh, makes contact with these units and uh, makes a nice cut here. It's like it's really it's like slicing meat. <laughs> it's just it's terrible. <laughs> just imagine being in a in a, a pocket like that. Riga, Riga is also on our list on our to-do list. We really do need to get Riga, but that'll be next time. I want to thank everyone for joining me. Please leave a like and or comment. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And see you all in the next video. Bye bye.